Redditors who cook, what's the biggest no-no thing in cooking? Cooking everything on high because you want it done faster. A dull knife. Don't let your baking powder get clumpy. Tiny rocks of baking powder ruin anything you bake. Cranking the heat to reduce the cooking time will leave you with a burned outside and an underdone inside. Do not mix hot cooking oil and cool sink water. I saw a girl burn the hell out of herself because she didn't listen to the home EC. Teacher. She threw her hot oil in a sink with some cool water running. Boom. Sprayed hot oil all over her arm and neck. Let your oil cool folks. Glass cutting boards. Like seriously, just GTFO. And in a similar vein, dangerously dull knives. I've seen some real bludgeons in other people's kitchens, no wonder they hate prep work. Don't try to catch a dropped knife. Back away and let it fall. Edit, my first silver. Thank you, kind stranger. Edit to, gold? Thank you, other kind stranger. Cutting with a dull knife. Get yourself a sharpener, even if it's a cheap one. Don't forget to let the ingredients get to know each other. Never and I mean never panic if you start a fire on accident. You need to be calm enough to know if you have to smother it, oil or grease fires, or grab the extinguisher. Panicking can get your house burned down. Standing in the kitchen when I'm cooking. Get the duck out, don't get in my way. Learned this the hard way, don't throw fresh chili peppers into a hot pan unless you want to pepper spray the whole house. Always wear pants while cooking bacon. Cooking with extra virgin olive oil over high heat. Don't grab something that is on the stove without a towel or some type of heat protection don't combine water and hot oil. If a grease fire starts, don't use water to try to put it out. Salt, a baking sheet, or a dry towel might work if you don't have a fire extinguisher. Don't season a liquid before reducing it, it will become too salty after you reduce it. Don't use a cold pan to sear something, get the pan hot first, better sear. Don't use extra virgin olive oil when you're using high heats, it will burn. Don't cut meat immediately after cooking it, more juices will flow out, the meat will become drier. Wait a few minutes don't hold an object with your fingers extended when you're cutting it. You're less likely to seriously cut your fingers if you curl your fingers like a claw. Don't use a sharp knife on metal, like a pie tin or steel counter, or glass or marble. Don't use a nice knife on anything other than food. A common offense would be opening a food package with it. Don't send a nice knife through a dishwasher. Don't leave a sharp knife in the sink. Don't leave a knife wet. Even ones claiming to be stainless will often rust if left wet. Don't follow a recipe too religiously. If it doesn't taste well to you, don't leave it because you follow the recipe exactly. Medium rare chicken. Works for steaks, but not for hen. Coming anywhere near my non stick pan with metal. If you scratch my pan, I will scratch your soul. Not seasoning your chicken. For the love of God, stop mucking about with whatever it is you're cooking. Unless it's something you specifically need to be mixing or stirring constantly, leave it alone. You'll never get proper color on things if they make more contact with your spatula than your pan. Don't burn garlic. Microwaving a salad. Taste. As. You. Go. Guessing at amounts when baking. Don't rinse your pasta. Making a cake then eating the whole thing right after. Never pour spices directly into a steaming pot on the stove. The spices will congeal in their containers from the moisture introduced. Instead put the spices in a separate side container then add to a steaming pot. Don't burn the ramen plastic accidentally when cooking. 
feeling like it's too hard or being afraid to experiment with stuff. Obviously don't try something totally new when you're cooking for guests but don't feel like failing means you suck. If you mess up learn from it and move on, it's not the end of the world. Never put oil in the pot when cooking pasta, as the sauce will just slip and slide away instead of sticking to the pasta. If it has touched raw meat, it can't go anywhere near cooked meat. Don't leave pasta in the water when it's done. My lazy ass learned the hard way to never use a pot holder that got wet to get a hot pan out of the oven. Basically renders the pot holder useless, ended up burning my hand and dropping my food. Also, when baking bread, don't add cold water to a hot Pyrex that has been in there for a minute to make steam. I knew what was going to happen, but I did it anyway. Boom. Glass shards everywhere. Using sugar to take the edge off a highly acidic sauce. Just put a damn carrot in it and let it absorb the acidity instead of covering it with a new flavor. Edit, add a peeled whole carrot and simmer it, then remove the carrot after cooking. Throw the aromatics in first. Gives me ducking aids every time I see people throw raw garlic into a recipe like 5 minutes before serving it. Not seasoning anything. There is a reason pretty much every recipe including candy and ice cream includes salt you morons. Still, don't overdo it either. Plenty of stuff is preloaded with heaps of salt. Medium rare chicken is not a thing don't touch your eyes after cutting chili and always clean your hand ffs it's basic knowledge. Skipping fresh ingredients. Just peel chopped garlic. Squeeze a lemon. Skip the jar bottle. Microwaves. I'm not 100% against them but easily 90% of food can be reheated in the oven. In my experience, 10 minutes at 350 does wonders to bring the life back to food. Toaster ovens are ducking awesome as well. When prepping a meal with a ton of ingredients, have everything set on the table. Seasoning, garlic etc. so you don't go looking for it as the meal is cooking. Don't overcook the meat. Literally grew up with my Mexican family overcooming the crap out of meat cause any pinky gone die as an adult I have shown my mother the amazing tenderness and juiciness of a medium rare steak at a good steak house. She doesn't overcook meat anymore. Hashtag always salt your pasta while boiling. Never tell the chef no when he asks you to mop the freezer. Not tasting the food before serving to others. Seriously people, taste it. You don't have to have an amazingly discerning palate to quickly realize it needs more salt or isn't done or it's terrible. Stop guessing and blindly following a recipe and actually taste it. Biggest. Not washing hands while doing anything in the kitchen. Second biggest would be failing to properly marinate. 1. Not measuring your ingredients 2. Adding oil to a pan before heating it 3. Metal utensils in a non-stick pan. Never ever wrestle babies in the kitchen. They are weak and can't fight back. Plus the steal the cookies when your back is turned. I swear to God. Don't put olive oil in while cooking pasta. All of the chefs I learned from swear up and down over it. Garlic salt really brings out the flavor in most dishes. Just put a little of that shit in there. Too high heat. Trying to rush things. Turn down the flame and chill. Not rinsing your rice thoroughly before cooking. This is for jasmine wall rice. Some Japanese rice have instructions that it's been rinsed. Immediately dousing your hot pan in cool water. That's how you warp perfectly good pans. Instead, remove the pan from heat and let the pan cool off naturally. Almost everyone I know is so afraid of too much salt they don't come close to seasoning properly. Add salt at every step and taste your food as you cook it constantly. Mistaking teaspoons for tablespoons. Soaking cast iron. Jesus Christ. 
There's no shame in eating salad from a bag. Don't put rubber in a flame. Don't throw water on a fire. Don't use a dull knife for fine cuts. Don't cook bacon naked. Fingers always in. Raw meat doesn't mix with produce and always have your favorite beverage prepared the way you want.